Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new, my name is Anushka and we are going to do another baking video. Well, it's more cake decorating because I've already baked the cake. I actually followed the rainbow cake recipe that I did a few videos back. I'll link that in the info box if you want to see how I did the cake and how I leveled the cakes and everything. Like everything's in that video. I was craving it so bad. But today we're just going to try and decorate a unicorn cake because I have a special announcement. I I don't even know how to say it. We now have merch. We have Anushka merch right there. Um, this is one of the designs that I drew. And yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I have three designs. One that is this, and it actually says Buttes. I did this cute hand-drawn thing with like a nude lip. I'll give I'll show a close-up in a bit. And I also have like a Nushka logo t-shirt and also an All Smiles Here t-shirt because I really wanted a t-shirt that was all about positive vibes. Um, so that was just like the perfect phrase for me to put on a t-shirt. And it was actually my sister who drew out that one because I couldn't get it right. Like I didn't like how it was looking so I was like... My sister's quite good at callig calligraphy writing. She does it like when she wants to. She just enjoys it. Um, so I was like, can you do it? And then she just did it in one go. And I was like, oh my God, I love that. And with a smiley face on the eye and everything, it was so cute. And I thought it was a nice touch to put um, Anushka on the sleeve as well. So yeah, this is the special announcement and we're gonna decorate a unicorn cake to celebrate. And I was really craving it as well. I'm just gonna give you a quick close up of this t-shirt right here. I actually drew everything, even the logo as well. And these are 100% organic cotton t-shirts. They're such good quality. I've been wearing them so much and it's just been so hard to hide it from you guys. And I'm wearing a size L because I like that kind of oversized fit. And we got the nude lip here too. Now you will be able to get these t-shirts worldwide. And yeah, I'll leave a link in the info box if you guys want to get them. I just can't wait to see you guys in your t-shirts. The Nushka fam is just going to rock the same t-shirt basically. Um, so yeah, these designs will be available in different colours. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to come out with merch for the longest time and you guys have been asking for it for ages, for years even. And I didn't know when was the right time. And when lockdown started, I was like, right. We're gonna do it, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you guys in your t-shirts. And if you do get them, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I wanna see you guys and I'll definitely repost as well. Okay, so for today's post notification shout out, it's gonna go to Anisha Kushner. So thank you so much for hitting that notification bell button and for being one of the first to comment on my recent video. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, we have to do subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Now, for this cake, I was actually going for like an ombre look. I've also done a bunch of buttercream colours. This is just the regular American buttercream. It's my favourite. Like I've tried Italian, Swiss, cream cheese. I mean cream cheese is my least favourite honestly but American just standard buttercream is the best thing ever. Like it's my favourite. I could eat it like with a spoon. Okay so I'm just gonna get my cake board to start off. I'm gonna place it right here. Uh, this is the old one I used previously. Uh, didn't have time to buy one. I actually didn't have any sprinkles to put my cake. That's why I decided to do an ombre cake instead. Guys, it feels so weird to be finally wearing these t-shirts in front of, like, in front of camera. Like, it, it just feels like the secret's out now. But yeah, I'm just gonna pipe some buttercream just in the center here, just to help stick the cake to the board. And I'm just gonna grab this. So that's the darkest blue shade that I had, and I'm actually pretty happy with the colors i'll link all the um tools that i use and the food coloring set that i got on amazon basically everything that i use is from amazon to be honest so i've got buttercream here but i've also got some here i'm just gonna use some of it fill in but then i'm not gonna put too much because honestly my family doesn't like it when i put too much buttercream oh my god this is why we do come crumb coat Oh, that tastes so nice. I'm just putting a little bit of the blue on top. Okay, now I'm going to take the second darker shade. Is this one. You'll see the cake slowly starts getting, like, more green. Guys, can you imagine if one day I had, like, a full-on kitchen studio to do my cakes? That would be amazing. I don't know if the blue is going to do anything, but I just want to give like 
a little effect. And now we're going to move on to the next darker shade and as you can see this one's starting to get a bit green. So satisfying. On to the next one. This one kind of broke so I have to be a little bit careful. And then I'm finally just going to grab the last one. I did have an extra shade but I didn't want to put it in because they were kind of similar so I thought let me just go with five layers today I mean it looks kind of ombre doesn't it it looks like a bluey green ombre more like this one's not the perfect layer but it's okay okay so now I'm gonna put like a really light layer on the sides I think I might need to make more buttercream you know because obviously we need to do our crumb coat. I don't have enough buttercream. And I've run out of icing. Sugar. So now I need to generous, generously put a good layer of this so that I can just quickly crumb coat it. So basically when your buttercream gets too thick like mine, all you need to do is just put some milk in it, like the tiniest amount, like literally the tiniest amount. Now a lot of you mentioned that I put too much sugar in my cakes, but if you look at all the recipes out there, they all have loads of sugars, loads of sugar in it. Honestly, this is a disaster. But it would have been fine, like I've got my crumb coat, but now I don't have enough to do my layer, like my ombre layer. I really like praise people who do this full time and get it right every single time. Because for me, like, it's either I do it really good or I mess it up. But then I wasn't really prepared, right? Did I check that I had enough icing sugar? No, like I literally just had just about enough. So this is why you need a crumb coat because like literally every time I want to get a smooth layer, the crumbs kind of get in the way. Okay, this is going to go in the fridge for at least 30 minutes to an hour now. And I'll be back later on to finish the decoration. Oh, that makes me so happy. I thought this cake was going to be a flop. <laughs> Alright guys, the cake is nice and cold. I'm going to try my best to cover this up now. So I'm going to use the rest of my blue and just pipe this all around and hopefully I can do a nice kind of like thin layer around I'm not gonna lie I was having such a nice time creating the cake and then <sighs> towards the end it kind of got a little bit stressful what I'm gonna do is start kind of like working this in using backwards and forward motions I'm really going to try and get as much buttercream out. Every time I do a cake, I learn a lesson from it. Like, next time I need to make sure I do this. Next time I need to, like, smooth better. Like, in my last video, I was actually holding the cake smoother the wrong way, the wrong way around. Now I'm going to smooth out roughly the white layer.
Okay, I'm gonna get my trusty old cakes mover now. I think this can work. I'm not gonna try and perfect it too much because I know like I don't have enough buttercream. I kind of like the effect on the top to be honest. I just feel like I need more buttercream here. Guys, it's actually like almost midnight. I mean, for my first ombre kind of smoothing buttercream, Considering the whole dilemma with not enough have, having not enough buttercream, I'm actually quite proud of myself. I don't want to play around with it too much because if I mess up, I don't have enough buttercream to like, you know, go over it if I do mess up. So I actually got some black edible food paint just to paint the eyes with. And um, that is black. So I'm just using a clean brush that I had and I'm gonna grab some of the black paint and I'm just gonna draw on it. But I'm gonna have to be on this side to do this bit. Oh my God, I'm so scared to do it. Okay, I don't even want to touch it anymore. Okay, so now all we have to do is just buttercream the mane. So I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, but I'm gonna need my, this is my whole collection of nozzle heads. touch I got the you the corn the unicorn the unicorn the horn huge plastic thing that's bugging me again I got this kit from Amazon but I'm just gonna use the ears see this is something else I learned maybe next time I should stick these on first and then pipe on top the cleanest mess damn so this is my little cake could have placed the ears a little bit better now can i <clears throat> but this is my little cake i think i'm gonna cut it now i don't know what do you guys think i feel like the horn and the ears really finished it off i feel like i could have definitely done a better job at piping this the mane and everything but i'm really proud of the eyes like i was scared to mess that up you just need to trust the process i guess but i'm not mad at the way this looks is that my cake? I think I'm gonna cut it here. <laughs> okay, this is time for the truth. Guys, look at the ombre though. This is the cake and this is the inside. It's okay, at least I got a picture. It's now taste test time, but this is a close up and I'm really, really proud of the layers. I'm not mad at that. Looks really moist. Oh my God, you don't know how much I was craving this cake. It's just so good. Every layer is so good. I promise I only have one, max two pieces. Oh my god, that cake turned out so well. Guys, this just comes to show, like, if you feel like giving up on something, don't. Just trust the process, get through it, and you actually never know how it will turn out, because this is just a pure example. Like, this was going so messy, and it was just going wrong in 
every shape and form but i'm actually pretty pleased and pretty proud of the outcome and i hope you guys enjoyed this little baking or not baking but cake decorating video and also please don't forget to check out my merch i'm so excited i can't 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 wait to see you guys in them um and let me know what you guys think of them i would love to hear your feedback are you just as excited as i am because <sighs> I literally cannot hold it in. I've literally bought one for my whole family. Like we took a picture in it all together with our t-shirts and it's just it's like this is a product of this channel like you guys. So I just want to say thank you for all the love that you guys shown. This just came in time for our 150k milestone. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!